haven't said hello. I'm sorry, Percy. I was thinking. What about? Thomas had to be careful. He couldn't talk about Luke, even to his best friend. What do you all think is the worst thing an engine could do? Something really bad. One of the worst things that I've ever done was when I was trying to sneak up on the coaches and I crashed right into the fat controller's baggage trolley. Baggage, clothes and sticky jam flew up into the air and fell over me and the fat controller. He was very cross with me. You didn't mean to crash into the baggage trolley, Percy. It was an accident. I think what I did was far worse. I refused to leave the tunnel because I didn't want to get my paint wet in the rain. The fat controller was really cross. So cross. In fact, he walled me up in the tunnel. That was bad. Do you remember the day I was shunting trucks at the mine? I knew I shouldn't have passed the danger sign, but I wanted to see what would happen if I did. I steamed right past it, into a siding, and fell down into the mine. That was very bad. Away from the sea. Salty loves to be by the sea. But when he first came to the island of Sodor, the fat controller sent him to work at Farquhar Quarry. All he could see around him was stone. Stone, stone, stone. Salty didn't like it much. Hello, Salty. Oh. I'm a dockside diesel, Mavis. I need to be by the sea. When the fat controller told Salty he had a new job for him at Brendam Docks, it made him very happy indeed. You weren't helpful that time you pushed those cars into the sea, were you? Remembering how Harold had called him slow and out of date when they first met. Slow and out of date, eh? I'll show him. Hurry, hurry, hurry! Even though Percy had beaten Harold in a race, Harold still made Percy feel second best. I'm plowing. I'm Thomas. I'm pulling a train. Oh, what ugly wheels you've got. They're not wheels. They're caterpillar tracks. I can go anywhere. I don't need rails. See? It's easy when you have caterpillar tracks. I don't want to go anywhere. I like my rails. I didn't realize your wheels were useful then. And as I recall, you also didn't realize your snowplow was useful then either. I don't like this nasty weather, Annie. Neither do I, Clarabelle. Uh, uh, Thomas, maybe you should go back for your snowplow. Just to be safe. I don't need that heavy, uncomfortable plow. Snow is silly, soft stuff. It won't stop me! Cinders and ashes! Oh, I'm stuck! Oh, oh. I'll have to stay here till I'm frozen solid. Oh, what a silly engine I am. But it was lucky snow never bothered me, and I was able to come to your rescue, Thomas. Thank you, Terence. I have to admit, your caterpillar tracks are splendid, and I'll never call them ugly again. And I hope you'll wear your snowplow in future. Remember, you have to be sensible. 
troublesome trucks, Rebecca. They pushed me down Gordon's hill, shouting, on, on, on! I almost came off the rails. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not forget the time you let the troublesome trucks run away with you, James. <laughs> Pushed you into some tar tankers. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> yes. Don't remind me. But since we're all remembering, how about the time the troublesome trucks pushed Percy into the sea? <laughs> 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 